What's up guys? Welcome back to this channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this wiggle time remap effect in After Effects. It, this effect has been going viral all over the social media, people doing uh, different kinds of edits like this. And today I'm going to show you a really simple way how to do it inside After Effects. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. First, let's say I have a footage in After Effects. This one is just me lifting my hoodie off like this. And we're going to use this uh, motion that I have on my hoodie and then try to make this wiggle effect using this. So how to do it? The first thing we want to do is right click on the uh, layer and go to time and enable time remapping. And as soon as you do that, you start to have this time remap keyframe. So the first thing we want to do is make a keyframe around the position where you want the wiggle to start so let's say it's around here and i'm going to make a keyframe here and go like five frames next to it and after five frames make another keyframe like this but this five frame is just uh, to keep uh, consistent but you can make this two three one depending on your choice but i'm using uh five frames and after you make another keyframe here as you can see here in the time remap you can actually drag back the time like this. So when we look at it now, it will look like this. This motion is repeated. And all we gotta do is copy this and paste them every five frames. And once we do that, then the whole thing will start. So just make sure you copy this and paste it like this. And we can also make this longer as well. And let's take a look now. As you can see now, it's uh, making this motion of this hand movement, but we can control it the way we want. But the basics is this. We make two keyframes and then we just copy and paste them uh, on a row a lot of times. And one thing we can do is also select it. And if we press F9, then it will be smooth. And also we can adjust the graph depending on what we want. Maybe we want the graphs to be start slower, higher, but this, yeah, you can play with it, but you can change the graphs depending on your needs, maybe like this, or you have some other, this is one thing. And in the beginning of the video, you saw also watch that I duplicated myself and also we go duplicate. If you're enjoying this video, consider supporting me on Patreon. You'll get exclusive project files, bonus content, and help me keep creating more videos for you. The link is in the description. And the way I created this uh, duplicate is by using rotoscope. I just rotoscope myself out from uh, this footage and uh, export them into MOV. That means that it's like a PNG of videos. It doesn't have any background. But if you want more deeper how I do my rotoscoping, I already made a video on it. So go make sure to go back and check it out. Uh, but the basics is I try to shoot my videos on a tripod. And then after I shoot Shoot it a couple of times and I walk around, you know, and then I rotoscope myself out, then I will put the rotoscoped videos on top of this. So here I have these two footage of where I duplicated the where I rotoscope myself out. So I'm going to import them here on my timeline. So just drag them and put them around here. And now all I'm looking for is a position where I want to start my wiggle. So let's say around here. So I want it to start here. So I'm going to drag back a bit here and right click and enable time remapping and make a keyframe here and around five frames, drag back the, the time here. And all we got to do is now copy it. I'm going to select everything and press F9. And also on the speed graph, you can, you know, put this here. And also as well here on the second footage, I'm going to enable time remapping and I'm going to make a keyframe here and drag it. And I'm going to paste it like this. So select this as well press f9 and make the graph like this so let's take a look now so as you can see you can create this type of wiggle animation using just simple keyframes so if you enjoyed this tutorial and you got some value out of it, just make sure to like and subscribe. This would mean the world to me. Uh, you support me a lot to me so, to make this video. So make sure to do that. And uh, yeah. <laughs>
I'll see you guys with another video. Love you guys. Bye.